As we approach high school graduation season, seniors all over the country are looking forward to what lies ahead for them, while also reflecting on these past four years. The senior class of 2022 has faced immense challenges during their high school careers. Through it all though, students and staff within Boston Public Schools have been resilient. A perfect example of this resilience is the senior class at Dorchester's Henderson K-12 Inclusion School. While some have been at the Henderson for every year of their schooling, others found the Henderson later in their academic careers but all can agree that it's the place that they found themselves most at home. We've got a lot of really great people, um, teachers who, who are always willing to sort of reach out if they a, notice a student is having a rough time or like even other students, they're for the most part really friendly to one another and I've seen a lot of really great lifelong friendships being formed as a result of people being students here. I like that they're a lot more interactive than other schools. They make sure that everybody feels like comfortable or like they treat, they don't treat anybody different no matter like where they're from, their background is, or like any disabilities that they have. The best part of being in a high school is, is being able to see um, you know, students when they come in as ninth graders are a little unsure of how to act, they're a little unsure of, of who they are. You know, they give you a run for your money when you're, when you're in ninth grade. To see them grow, to see, see them develop their interests, their passions, I think specifically with this class, their voice. These are our students who have incredible ideas and, and visions not only for themselves but for the school community. This is the first class that I've taught all four years that they've been in this building. So I've gotten really close with a lot of the students and I can say what sticks out to me the most is how much growth that I've seen from the ninth grade to now, especially considering all of the things that they've been through. And they're so vocal about what they want to see done and how what changes they want to see in the building and I love that about them. So I would say they're unapologetically themselves. That's what I really commend them on is that they're themselves. You're not going to tell them who they are. I would also say that they're very resilient people because I've seen so much that they've all gone through and for them to come up on top, get accepted to colleges, know where they're going, it's just like a like a bittersweet like good feeling. This being like more of a smaller high school than most other schools in Boston, I feel like that was really good because it kind of like limited my distractions in a lot of ways. So I feel like coming here and just being like on one floor and just being separated from everyone else, it made it a lot more easier to like focus on my schoolwork. I got accepted to UMass Dartmouth and I think that's why I'll be attending. Miss Ford's helped me get into UMass Dartmouth and I really appreciate her for that. So I applied to 20, I heard back from five. I got into all of them so far. UMass Boston, UConn, Leslie, Bridgewater, and Maine. Uh, the, more, the more noticeable colleges I've been accepted to was, was Suffolk University, UMass Dartmouth, Bridgewater State University, Curry College, plan, and I plan on getting my major in English so that I can be, a, so I can be an English teacher or an English professor. Transition until the age 22, probably find a job. So I want to go to college specifically to study music education because I've been singing in choirs for the last like eight years or so. I have really valued the time that I've spent singing in those choir groups because singing with other people is a real joyous experience. I want to double major and do business and entrepreneurship. I'm planning to study neurology and neuroscience. I want to earn my psychology degree and help others with their mental health because I know that was a big thing for me is always checking in, making sure my mental health was good. My favorite memory actually was the senior class retreat. That was really, really fun. I got closer with people that I didn't think I'd become closer or be friends with and I got to get to know a lot more about the people that I go to school with. We are the only fully inclusive K-12 school in the district and so no matter what your learning needs may be, the Henderson will be able to find a way to support those. This school was one of the most inclusive schools that I've been to. You see a lot of people that are, that are like me. It allows you to find your sense of self. I think this is a class that we'll all remember first and foremost for just how they persevered and how they returned as school leaders this year.